So what do we know about Theodore Snickery? He stole a page from the Book of Souls and trapped us in the escape room. He has the power to control minds which the talisman protects you from. And he's a snazzy dresser. <laughs> what? I'm just saying, not everybody can pull off a bow tie. He also has a mystery board like Remy's with all of our pictures on it. If only we had his board. Exactly! Then I can replace my picture with a better one. <laughs> no, I meant because I can't remember everything on it. Oh. You won't have to! Would you give me a hand? Sure. you get this? Let's just say I had some help from the newest member of Sweaty. Not a member, but I did buy the hat. <laughs> really, thank you. You're amazing. I just took some pictures and had them blown up so I could meticulously recreate it. And, uh, I carried it in here, so we're both amazing. Check it out. Looks like Theodore has been investigating us, too. There! Ah, that's better. Oh. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Grim didn't tell me anything about this. She has got some major explaining to do. So you and the Grim Reaper talk. Do you also text? I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this. I spoke to her once, too. No big deal. <laughs> so uh, where's your little buddy, Carson? Just when I need him the most, he's at Piccolo Camp. Which is why I'm deputizing all of you into Sweaty. Congratulations! <laughs> It's been a lifelong dream. I'll uh, also need an initiation fee of $50. And I quit. Someone's in a bit of a snit fit. Why didn't you tell me about Theodore Snickering? Why do you keep leaving me in the dark? Francis Eleanor Rip. You know I can snit with the best of them. Middle in me is not gonna work this time. I keep you on a need to know basis in order to protect you. By not telling me anything, all you had to do was be open and honest with me. I'm the Grim Reaper, sweetie, not a greeting card. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? He's onto us. He's got a conspiracy board with all of our faces on it. I will figure it out. But in the spirit of sharing, you should know, if we succeed, you will no longer need your guardians. Pretty and Scary will return to the underworld. What? See, not always so great to know everything. <laughs> now butter your toast, I'll tell you more. I just saw Frankie talking to herself or the toaster. Either way, it's strange. Now that you mention it, I saw Frankie talking to herself in the mirror the other day. Might just be a face. You're probably right. Though she did seem really upset at the toaster. So, what did Grim say? A lot, actually. Theodore was her first mishap, and all the tasks we've been doing are part of getting him back to the underworld. At times like these, I'm reminded of what's most important, and that is, I was right! <laughs> I knew all bad snickering would become evil! Everyone with the snickering name should be run out of this town. Ahem. Except one's name, Ehrlich. I, I can't believe my great-grandfather caused all this. Frankie, I'm, I'm really sorry. Oh, it's okay. Grim told me to sit tight. They were sitting tight. But I say we go to the mansion. Then we're going to the mansion. Just let the girl finish. Let the girl finish. She also told me that Theodore is hiding a page from the Book of Souls with his signature on it. If we can find it and return it to Grim, she'll finally be able to take him back to the underworld. Does that mean what I think it means? Yeah. If Theodore goes back, it means you'll never see him again. After what he's done to you all, I can't defend him. I don't know what Theodore's hiding up his sleeve, but I do know we all need to be protected. Or like, give me your hand. I 
Just need the talisman so I can split it between all of us. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, knew that. That's good. I good idea. Awkward. The mirror you ordered has arrived, sir. Wonderful. Set it by the fireplace. A smidge to the left. No, not that far left. Does your team not know what a smidge is? It's slightly more than a tad, sir. <laughs> nope. That's fine. Now leave. Leaving, sir. Is that the mirror? Who's there? Oh, Christine. <laughs> How did you get in here? While Grim was distracted, I snuck a peek at the Grim Reaper guidebook and figured out how to pop back and forth from the underworld. Smart. The student has become the master, and the student is bringing the master down. Evil, too. <laughs> so you said you had something from the underworld that will help us? I do. Grim normally keeps this orb under lock and key. Well, I can see why. It's so tacky. <laughs> what does it do? It takes away her powers and renders her helpless. It's Grimm's kryptonite. I picked the right partner in crime. I picked you, but fine. <laughs> I have to go before Grimm notices I'm gone. As Grimm would say, toodles. <laughs> yeah, I need my own catchphrase. <laughs> Good. Whatever this underworld rock is made out of, we can't crack it. We try to hammer, melting it, dropping a bowling ball on it. Too bad we don't have a bolt of lightning. I think that can be arranged. I feel like you might not want to stand so close to her. Why? That's why. <laughs> Wait, you have powers? Yeah, wind, rain, lightning, thunder. I'm basically a human tropical storm. It's weird, I know. No, that's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. You're the coolest thing I've ever seen. Cringe. How'd you like a personal rainstorm? You do you. Oh, Grim. Are you there? Hello, Theodore. You made a very big mistake bringing a mirror into your mansion. Now hand over that page. Uh, you mean uh, this one? You tricked me once, Theodore, but never again. I'm bringing you back to the underworld right now. <laughs> What's wrong? Trouble with your powers, Grim? That's strange. My zap doesn't seem to be working. Something's off. Could this be the problem? Where did you get that? I can't reveal my source, but it's not from the mall. You, you, you keep that away from me! Oh, look! You're frozen! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> I always wanted to do that. The best thing for us to do is just sit Frankie down and discuss it. Let her know we're here for her. Right. Parenting 101. Communicate. So glad you agree with me. That's marriage 101. My baby's always right. I really need to talk to you. Oh, that's great, honey. We're here for you. Oh, I wasn't talking to you guys. <laughs> GR, where are you? I want to give you an update. Frankie? Is everything OK? Never better. Why? It's just that, well, you're talking to a spatula. Oh, this? Just, um, I'm trying out for a school play. I'm using the spatula as a scene partner. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou? <laughs> Gotta go. Nothing weird. <laughs> Christine? Put GR on. It's urgent. I'm sorry, Frankie. Grim's not here. She's on vacation. Vacation? Now? That doesn't make sense. Between the council and the mishaps, Grim wanted a getaway to rest and recharge. Okay. 
And where did she go? Whoops, gotta run. The underworld is quite busy. Fireworks season. Christina out. Still needs work. Look who has their own talisman to protect themselves against that no good, rotten old man snickering. Oh, sorry, you're lick. It's okay. I'm just happy to help. Now it's my turn to give you a bracelet to protect you. And it's my turn to say, aw. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> Okay, look, something weird's going on. Christine said Grim left and went on vacation. Aw, I'm happy she finally took some me time. Not when that heartless weasel snickering is still on the loose. Oops, sorry, Ehrlich. It's okay. Well, I'm not buying it. I don't know where Grim really is, so we're on our own. Who's with me? As long as we each have the talisman. Then let's find that missing page and return that horrible, backstabbing monster to the underworld where he belongs. Oops. <laughs> sorry, Ehrlich. I get it. You don't have to keep saying you're sorry. He really is the worst. Not sorry, Ehrlich. But he said we didn't have to say we're sorry. <laughs> okay, so where would Theodore hide something his life literally depended on? There's a safe on each floor. All combos are set to one, two, three, four. Genius! No one would ever guess that. Pretty and I will hit that up first. There's the panic room, plus his personal study. And he's always been super strange about his argyle sock drawer. That is suspicious. Yeah, nobody wears argyle socks. <laughs> Nixon, Remy, start there. Feet stuff? He also said panic room. We've got exactly one hour before great granddad's done with his daily steam. Ooh, I can use some steam. No. <laughs> OK, sweaty on three. One, two, three, sweaty! Man, I miss Carson. Frank, you okay? I didn't want to bring this up earlier, but if we finish this, Grim's taking you both back to the underworld. I know you're here as my guardians, but you become more than that. You're family now. I hope Mr. Stickering has a handkerchief drawer. <laughs> Let's not worry about that until we're done. And for the record, I only care about finishing this because I want you to be safe. I see you as family now, too. Ugh, feelings. Time to destroy Theodore. <laughs> Found something! Never mind, it's just Theodore's doodles. Wow, he really likes to draw hearts. Surprising for such a wretched, soulless, vile human being. <laughs> Once you start, it's hard to stop. I didn't know we were having company. Granddad, I, I thought you were steaming. Which I hear is very healthy and great for the pores. Oh, Frankie, that's not why I do it. I steam to sweat weakness out of my body. Your skin looks very strong. <laughs> what in heavens? That's the alarm on my sock drawer. <gasps> My Argyles! <laughs> you didn't tell me about all the stairs in this house. Or the alarm on the sock drawer. Guess what? You found the Book of Souls page? Even better, I peed in a gold-plated toilet. <laughs> Don't worry, I was super stealth. I didn't flush. Ew! What? If it's yellow, let it mellow. Oh. <laughs> Come on, keep searching. That's weird. Theodore doesn't do reflective surfaces. This whole house is full of weird. It's this weird lady statue. Grim? What are you meddling kids doing? Not using your gold-plated toilet, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm just going to look around a little bit, like a supportive, not snooping parent. Jonathan, what are you doing? Nothing. Definitely not snooping. <laughs> what are you doing here? Also, not snooping. But since we're here, it won't hurt to look in one drawer. It's not like we're going to read through our diary. Unless you think we need to. Nope. We're cool parents. 
See? Nothing. Your turn. Just typical stuff. Glitter pens, scrunchies. Underworld contract. Okay, now we're gonna snoop. <laughs> What did you do to Grim? That's the Grim Reaper? I don't know what you're talking about. I ordered a giggling gargoyle and that showed up by mistake. Never trust the internet. <laughs> Stop the line, Granddad. We know about everything you've been doing in this town. And we know I fell down a manhole that was meant for you. Hmm. How dare you? I mean, we did become best friends because of it, but still, <laughs> how dare you? This is absurd. Ehrlich, why are you on my side? Cuz. I can't trust anything you say. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> you got me. But does it really matter? You won't remember any of this anyway. Glowy eyes won't work on us. Yeah, we all have very cute matching talismans. How do you like us now? I should have known you'd give them toys. Now, Scary, stop! <laughs> I guess you forgot, but I've been to the underworld. Uh, a little help here? Pretty quick, heel grip. It's not working. None of your puny powers will work on her thanks to my own toy. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Spit went down the wrong pipe. I knew I was right about you. Uh, maybe now's not the time to confront the evil man holding that weird ball of power? There's one thing you need to know about me. I always get the last laugh. This might sound crazy, but maybe we're stronger as a team. It always works in those superhero movies. You'll never get your precious Grimm back. But if it helps you feel better, she will make an excellent addition to my statue collection in the West Wing. Not happening, Theodore. We won't let you take Grimm. Yeah, what they said. <laughs> Focus all your thoughts and energies on Grimm. What is happening? It's like someone else might be getting the last laugh. Jonathan, look. It says here that if Frankie doesn't complete a series of tasks for the Grim Reaper, she'll go back to the underworld forever. <sighs> no wonder she's talking to kitchen utensils. She's under too much pressure. Mm -mm. Our baby's in trouble. Didn't she say they were going to Ehrlich's? Okay, we need to go. Should I bring the spatula? Get the spatula! <laughs> okay, you've had your fun. Now stop whatever you're doing this instant. Yeah, don't think they're gonna. Sometimes when you poke the bear, the bear pokes back. Sebastian, do something! Do the panic room! <laughs> Keep going. We're getting stronger. Not this time. She's free. The Grim Reaper is free. My sister's a bear. Theodore Bartholomew Snickering. Uh oh. She middle-named you. That's never good. Time to fear the Reaper. I owe you all an enormous thank you. You saved me. I'm forever in your debt. I need you all to clear the room. Now! <laughs> Not you! <laughs> Sit. Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? Frankie, we found the Underworld contract. Why didn't you tell us about all of this? Jonathan, this might be better in private. They may not know about We know. know. <laughs> and where's that Grim Reaper anyway? Because I need to give her a piece of my mind. Mom? The 
contract doesn't matter anymore. I completed all the tasks, so I don't have to go back to the underworld. <sighs> Hold up. You went through my room? Out of love, sweetheart. Your father's new first. How about we make it up to you with some we're sorry ice cream? Deal. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, but I think I need to say one final goodbye. I'll see you later, okay? I know this won't be easy, but I'm here if you need me. Thanks, Frankie, for everything. Now I gotta say goodbye to that miserable, wretched, despicable snake of a grandfather. You're right. Once you start, you can't stop. Well, I've lost the battle, Grim. You win. I'm ready to return to the underworld now. Good, because you don't have a choice. You can't say it wasn't a fun ride, though. Oh, I absolutely can. Not at all a fun ride, Theodore. <laughs> but at least now I can finally correct my first mishap. Oh, Sebastian, I need to ask you something important. I'm going to be, well, relocating. <laughs> Would you mind taking care of Ehrlich until his parents return? It would be the honor of a lifetime, sir. Grim, may I have a moment with my great-grandson to say goodbye? A wee moment, and I'm watching you. I tried to cheat death, but she caught up with me. I'm sorry I let you down. Just remember, everything works out the way it's supposed to. Keep that in mind. One last hug? Or first, but who's counting? <laughs> Time's up! Now, where's my Book of Souls page? <clears throat> I always keep it close to me. Very good. Places to go, people to down arrow. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> ah, you lose again, Grim. You don't have me or my page from the Book of Souls. <laughs> I swear, this evil laugh is gonna kill me. Hey, Alec, what just happened? Where am I? The underworld. You're supposed to be Theodore. Why aren't you Theodore? Oh, that sneaky little snickering, he swapped places with you. Did? Wait, does that mean I'm sort of? Ooh, that's mishap number three, isn't it? That can't be good, Graham. No, Christine, it can't. I will fix this. It's what I do. Don't go anywhere. All right, you can't. I guess we should pack up our stuff. You know what? You're not packing, because I'm gonna ask Grim for more tasks so you can stay. GR? Hello, I need to talk to you. I'm afraid you won't be talking to Grim for a while. Frankie, is that you? Ehrlich? What are you doing in the underworld? My great grandfather tried- Ehrlich snickering, do not interrupt me again. As I was saying. No, I don't care what you're saying. How do I get Ehrlich back? That's between Grim and the Underworld Council. For now, you will communicate with me. That is all. Now, what would Grim say if she were here? Oh, right. Toodles. Guess that's my catchphrase now. What happened? What did the Grim Reaper say? That wasn't the Grim Reaper. It was Christine. Wait, if Ehrlich is there, that means Theodore is still here. We have to help Grim and Ehrlich. We need to fix this mishap ourselves. Remy, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're gonna need all the sweaty help we can get. Sweaty on three. One, two, three, sweaty!